I'm Anthony, this is D News, and a lot of you, like me, are embarking on a New Year's quest for self-improvement. I like saying that better than resolutions. Resolutions just have a lot of pressure. And you know, and a lot of people's quests revolve around losing weight. And the measurement most people use is the BMI, or the Body Mass Index. Trace talked about it a little bit before here on D News, and Lacey's talked about it on her channel. But you know, the BMI is just a chart. And contrary to popular belief, it doesn't measure your percentage of body fat. It measures the mass of your body relative to height and weight. And it doesn't take into account all kinds of genetic factors or lifestyle choices. People just tend to think that lower is better, especially because we're all told all the time that carrying extra weight will give you heart disease and diabetes and make all the village children laugh and throw rocks at you. Well, you can suck on those stones, you nightmare children, because a new analysis published in the Journal of the American Medical Association says different. They analyzed nearly three million people from all over the world and found that, yeah, okay, people classified as morbidly obese, meaning a BMI of 35 or higher, had shorter lifespans than people who are normal on the BMI scale. But here's where science is eating its hat and then probably running on the treadmill for half an hour to work off all that extra hat weight. They took a look at people who were considered overweight and they actually died at lower rates than people who were normal. And people who were considered mildly obese on the scale had the same risks and lifespans as the normals. Now the authors of the study immediately said they couldn't say what gave overweight people a survival edge. Well, I got a crazy opinion. Maybe your scale is wrong? Or too general? See, you need some body fat on you. It serves as a source of heat and energy. It's padding and insulation for your bones and organs, and your body can't absorb vitamin A, D, E, or K without it. Now you can see why chasing a BMI number and lowering that fat too much could cause some issues. Also, the BMI scale was created in 1830, when we were also leeching people and administering electric shocks to men's genitals to deal with diseases. Just saying. So does this mean that we should ignore weight entirely when looking at health? Absolutely not. But you don't go by something as general as a BMI number. That might be some good advice for the medical community too. Let me know what you use to measure your health down below and subscribe for more D News.